Hi everyone, today I want to share this little sending well wishes your way, kind of a get well card. And I'm using just a few products for this, stamps, ink, and paper. Stampin' Up! has noticed in the past that there's been lots of focus on cards with many, many intricate layers and details, lots of product to make one card. And they wanted to show that you can make really cute and pretty cards simply as well and kind of get back to the basics a little bit in the past um, few months. So this is kind of what my take on simple would be and I realize I use an aqua painter and it has like a watercolor look to it but it's actually super simple so hopefully it qualifies as simple stamping. You can watch the video and judge for yourself. And then of course I had to go out a little bit and add some more just for fun. <laughs> and the reason why I made a rainbow colored dandelion is because I do this online art, it's not really a class, it's just kind of an art community where we share art online. And our project a few weeks back was this, uh, they called it a rainbow wish dandelion. And um, anyway, so I thought it was really cute. I did one. Mine didn't turn out quite like this one, but like I said, it's just for fun. So there's mine. And um, anyway, so then, I, of course, instantly, because I'm a Stampin' Up! person, I thought of the Dandelion Wishes stamp set, which I love. I bought it the second it came out. I love these dandelions and the little uh, fluffs kind of floating away. This is my favorite one. And um, so anyway, I'm making this. And I thought I would share that with you. It's really simple, but I think it's really cute. We're using uh, Pacific Point cardstock as our base, some basic black, and then watercolor paper. So the watercolor paper is cut at three and three quarters by five. And I'm stamping with stays on ink because this is water. Um, it reacts to watercolor. Okay, it doesn't smear, and um, you can go right over it with your paint, your ink, I should say. It's not really paint, is it? So I'm going to ink up the background stamp here. There we go. And then my sentiment is around here somewhere on my desk. There it is. So now we're going to go ahead and paint. So I'm using three colors. It looks like there's more on here because you've got some purple, it's a little bit of orange, but and some green. But actually, it's just three colors. It's Daffodil Delight, Pacific Point, and Melon Mambo. Now, if you wanted to use um, true, you know, another color, you want to use one of your purple inks, go right ahead. But I'm trying to just use three, keeping it simple. using my aqua painters. I love aqua painters. The water is right there in the barrel for you. You can take these with you and paint on the go, which I think is awfully fun. And um, I use them all the time. This off to the side here is a stamp and scrub, which is normally used to clean your stamps. You just kind of go like this and keep this moist. However, I use it when I paint because I can squeeze the barrel to run some water through that tip. I'll show you and go from color to color. I clean it right there on my stamp and scrub. So I use a stamp and scrub when I paint. Uh, this is my little dandelion. I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, the melon mambo, the pink color. Straight melon mambo here. And I'm going to just dab. I'm just going to get the little tufts. And you just want a little dabbing motion to get the little tufts pink. And then I'm going to have this little stamping block with no stamp on it, and I'm going to throw some Melon Mambo on there. But then I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm going to go into the Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to leave a space. And I'm going to just add some tufts. You know, I should have done a Melon Mambo fly away here. Now, when I have this Daffodil Delight, I'm going to go ahead and put some on my block. Straight Daffodil Delight. And then, I'm going to 
bring some into this melon mambo, which is going to give you kind of an orange. And I'm going to do the ones I left space for. And then I'm going to clean my brush. Oh, shoot, I should have done. I'm forgetting to do these little ones off to the side. So now I'm going to clean my brush again. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go right to the blue, but I'm going to leave a space. And I'm going to add some blue. Need a little bit more water. There we go. I'm going to add some blue. I'll remember to do one of these flyaways this time. Clean my brush. Okay, then I'm going to, I forgot, I'm going to put some blue on here. <laughs> I keep forgetting my steps. That's okay. It's easy to clean the brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and get some more of this Daffodil Delight and mix it with the blue to get a green. And then I'll fill in here. I'm going to fill in those spaces. Clean my brush again more blue. See how fast it is? I should put this in the shot. I'm just going like this, squeezing the brush once to get some water flowing and cleaning it in so fast I can go straight now into my Melon Mambo to make a purple. A little bit more blue. So now I've got my purple. Let's make a little purple tufted dandelion. I think I forgot a green tuft and a straight pink tuft. There. There is my dandelion. And then kind of at the end, I grab a few colors and just, just put a little bit of paint in the middle. I'm just going to give it a fuzzy look. And I kind of grabbed the green and just went down. And that's it. That's the paint. And it just took a few seconds. I don't know what the timer is on the on the uh, countdown on my video, but it was really fast and it was super fun. I hope that you give it a try. Um, I'm going to do it again really fast and we'll do this here. Or maybe I'll just do this and then we'll put it um, together and you can kind of see. So for that one, I am stamping my greeting again, but this time on a little scratch piece of watercolor paper. I'm going to stamp that down. Oop. Stays on is kind of sticky, just a little bit. <laughs> I guess it sticks there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stamp that down, and then I'm going to start with the blue. I'll get it kind of wet, actually. There we go. And I'm going to go just kind of wash it over. And then I'm going to clean my brush and pick up, did I clean it? Yes. Pick up some Daffodil Delight and I'm going to go right next to it. So that'll kind of change some of it to a green. But I want to make sure to do it twice, once with the green, and then I want to go back in and grab that Daffodil Delight again to get more of a true yellow. And now I'm going to clean my brush just by squeezing and swishing on the cleaning pad. And we're going to bring in that Melon Mambo. I'm kind of staying away from the yellow, but then I'm going to get some water on there and bleed it in to get more of an orange. And then I'm going to bring in some more of that specific point and get a purple. And that is how I did that little background there. And then I just simply punched it out with a punch. I'm going to give it a second to dry. Maybe I'll close up these while I do that. <laughs>
I'm going to go ahead and punch this out. This is the um, two inch circle punch. And I'm going to go right over this one since I didn't do a great job stamping on there anyway. And I've got my simple version and my stepped up version, so we're going to do this one a stepped up one. So I add a little adhesive right there and on the bottom of my card, and then I'm going to take this black thread and I just kind of wrap it around my fingers a few times. I think I did about six. And I'm going to place it down. I love the thread on these dandelion cards because, you know, the tufts are just kind of random and flying away and these threads are kind of random and flying away. And I just plop it down. I don't even really think too much about it because when you think too much about it, it's just not as random and you really want that kind of whimsical random look. I also wanted to throw down some of this black mini sequin trim. I um, hardly use it and I always forget about it, so I've been trying to remember to use things. And this one I'm just kind of pressing down on that glob of adhesive. If you need to add a little bit more, you can. I'm pressing it down to make sure it sticks. I'm adding some Stampin' Dimensionals. These are also going to help keep the um, threads down. You can see I'm kind of deliberately placing them on top of threads. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be yours. I hope that you'll join me at my blog, bathspapercuts.com. I also have a Facebook page and I'm starting a Facebook group. I've learned that on a group you can um, post on a group easier too. You can actually post your own thoughts and your own um, questions. You can even say, hey Beth, I did the dandelion card. Here's my version. What do you think? And share your version of the dandelion card. I would love that. I like the interaction. So um, a group is a fun place to do that. So I am starting that and I'll link that to my blog as well. It'll be under Beth's Paper Cuts. I already have a business page that says Beth's Paper Cuts. So I think it's going to be um, something similar like Beth's Paper Cuts sharing group or something along those lines. Um, I hope you'll join me there. And if you are interested in purchasing the Dandelion Wishes stamp set or any of the other products like these fun aqua painters or some ink, you can do that right from bestpapercuts.com. And I have a frequent buyer rewards program where I share my, um, you know, we have host dollars. I share those with you. You don't have to get them all at once. You can keep track of your orders. And then when you fill up your punch card, your tracking sheet, you can um, pick out your free stamp set. So here's my little Rainbow Wishes, Dandelion Wishes uh, stamp set. I think it's called Dandelion Wishes. Now i got to get it again because I've got... There we... Nope, that's not it. That was something else I was painting. <laughs> Here it is, Dandelion Wishes stamp set. I hope you like it. I hope you like my card. Please let me know um, in the comments or on my Facebook page. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.